Auzubillahiminashaitwanirajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum everyone Today we are going to start our new topic Properties of gases in the air Students, gases are not as easy to study as solids or liquids Because they are often invisible They are difficult to keep as they quickly find their way out of the tiny holes and cracks Yet gases are very important Students, in this chapter, we will see the properties of the main gases present in air. Out of these, today, we are going to study properties and uses of nitrogen gas. So, let's start with the properties of nitrogen gas. At first, we have nitrogen makes up about 80% volume of the air. Means, it is present nearly 80% by volume in the air. Number two, it is colorless, means we cannot see it. It is odorless means we can it does not have any smell and we cannot detect nitrogen by sniffing. Third, it does not support life means there is no role of nitrogen gas uh, during breathing or the process of respiration. It does not support combustion means it does not help in burning process. We have already studied these processes and we know very well that there is no role of nitrogen in respiration and combustion. Then it is an inert gas means it is unreactive. It does not readily react with other elements. Then it is manufactured by the process of frictional distillation which we have already studied that in frictional distillation we separate and purify the nitrogen gas for the further use. Now moving towards the uses of nitrogen gas, number one we have, it is used to make ammonia, that is the, the formula of ammonia is NH3, this is very important chemical. Now this ammonia is used to form nylon, which is a kind of fabric and other fibers, means uh, this ammonia is used in textile industry and that ammonia is made from nitrogen. So next is ammonia. The same ammonia which is made from nitrogen is converted into nitric acid which is HNO3. This is also very important chemical. This nitric acid is used for making dyes, the color dyes used to color the uh, fabric and um, used in paint industry also. Explosives, explosives are used in bomb industry, in nuclear reaction and many other chemicals. Next it is used to make fertilizers, the chemical fertilizers. Now we have liquid nitrogen. The boiling point of liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius, which is very low temperature. It is used as a cooling agent in refrigerator and for cooling materials to a very low temperature. Students, minus 196 is really a low temperature. So with this, we are done with the uses and properties of nitrogen gas. I hope you all have found this video very informative. Now in the next video, we will inshallah study and learn the properties and uses of some other gas. With this, Allah Hafiz.